Well, it's happening all over the country, from New York to Los Angeles and right here in Spokane. Cities are growing and the rental market just can't keep up. Vacancy rates are uh, historically low. There's no doubt about that. How bad is it? Well, almost 99% of one-bedroom apartments in Spokane are already rented. And for a two-bedroom, they're more than 97% full. That's according to this year's study from Eastern Washington University. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Melissa Luck. Nadine is off tonight. You're only supposed to spend 30 cents of every dollar you make on rent or mortgage. But many people in our area can't rent an apartment without blowing that budget. KXOY 4's Caroline Flynn working for you tonight. Caroline, all day viewers have been reaching out to you on Facebook to share their struggles to find affordable housing. Plus, I've been communicating with viewers who say they're tired of the hunt for an apartment at a price that they can afford without having to sacrifice things like their health, their pets, or their safety. Just try and search for a decent apartment in Spokane. If you can find anything, it usually comes at the cost of what you bring home in your paychecks each month. I think the real concern for our population are those people who have to sp spend 50% or more of their income on rent. According to Quicken, an online budgeting tool, 30% of your income should go to your housing. In Spokane, nearly half the population pays that or more. For 24-year-old Anna Fowler, she and her husband were paying well over 50%. We lived in an apartment in North Spokane, and our rent was going to go up at the beginning of the year to where we couldn't afford it anymore. She recently made the call that no 20-something wants to make. I basically had to call my parents and say, hey, we need a place to live. Can we move back home? After trying to make it work in a roommate situation, Anna, her husband, and two-year-old daughter moved into her parents' basement. As, as much as I love my parents, you know, there's there's some difficulty with living with as an adult with your parents, and and she has not fully, she doesn't really understand that we live here. She keeps saying, "Let's go home," and. This, this is home right now. Anna says they are saving to put a down payment on a two-bedroom home. We can't afford to rent. It's too expensive. It's crazy that it's cheaper to buy a house and, and have to sign on for that as well than to be able to... Well, Patrick Jones says there are solutions to this rental crisis. They include more affordable rentals, uh, more low-income housing, and higher rates in our community of pay. Live in Spokane tonight, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.